Adrian Rabio is rushing to join Manchester United after that call from Eric Ten Hag in here on the United Matters channel. Guys, the deal of Anatovic has been really called off and you need to backed it out. Not because that they're willing to really get out of this deal, not until the supporters of United questioned about a player who has a record of racism way back in 2009 at FC20 in the for you that United were really in for him. And that's the main reason as to why they really backed out of this deal. But it looked like they are willing to go ahead and really land him, not until that was really raised in by the fans of Manchester United. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rokan David is my name and remember we are really targeting to hit the 10k subscriber mark in the for you and let's go ahead and really subscribe to this channel into the lower right bottom corner and then hit the notification bell now let's get off as he said by fabrizio romano today telling us that man united are in direct contact with adrian rabio and his mother veronique to negotiate on the personal terms eric ten Hag also involved in the for you so this has been what it has been all about on the quote offside podcast you continue to let us know that the truth is that adrian rabio has been on has been one of the options on Manchester United list for weeks. Contacts were then accelerated over the weekend. Obviously, some are saying United are not into Adrian Rabiot in the for you. But tell me, if a club is really making these moves or shortlists, then they must be having options. <laughs> Obviously, Ten Hag's priority signing in the midfield is Frankie de Jong. So, but only Frankie de Jong alone is not enough in the midfield i've always told you that if rabio comes in through it will be great but even him coming in through alone is not enough we need to get in another player who can play as a central defensive midfielder immediately at manchester united in the for you so talks have been going on for weeks and they were accelerated over the weekend that's what fabrizio roman has gone ahead to confirm though other people are really saying no to that but Everyone is entitled to his or her own opinion. Then he said, I can confirm talks are ongoing between United and Juventus for Adrian Rabio. I'm told that United don't see an issue with reaching an agreement with Juventus. So United are really seeing that it's so very much okay with Juventus. Everything has been agreed with Juventus. And now they're waiting for this deal to be materialized in the for you. Again, for Richard does that. Now discussion ongoing with the intermediaries and Rabio's mother, who is his agent, personal terms agreement needs to be reached in the face so what is really holding this back is the personal terms and personal terms are all about how much money are you going to give me you get as my salary then the contract then other clauses like if at all i play such and such a number of games what do i get if you not go to the champions league what do i get because right now if you're coming at manchester united with a player with a player of a profile of rabio you are really placed into a very good position of negotiation you get you can really tell them what you want and they're desperate they'll do it they'll do it they'll do it so let's wait and see how rabio really transfers in the for you i expect this deal to get done yesterday but i don't know why the negotiation is really taking long because i think it's something easy to go in and really make this negotiation done but is the negotiation team of united really lagging us behind that is something we need to look in here three and see whether it's the case but if at all it's not the case then you have to expect a player who goes by names of rabio and who will go this week in there for you then we've been told by laurens julian this is the guy that really reported about this guy about rabio way back and he's a french he's a french man in england he talks with espn beat sport bbc rmc sport so he's so much connected <coughs> sorry about that he's so much connected as far as players from france are concerned and adrian rabio is one of those and, eric, and he has told us that eric ten Hag spoke to adrian rabio on the phone yesterday it was the first conversation between the pair and was a good one rabio is keen to move to united with ten Hag believing he will improve the team obviously i will believe that ten i will believe that rabio improves our team but guys i'm sharing my opinions you might be having your opinions too but let me assure you that if you don't believe that this guy improves our midfield, then you're wrong. This guy 100% improves our midfield. That's it. He improves our midfield in the defensive way and the attacking way. Because out of the midfielders we have, who can play deep? 
like Freddie and Scott McTominay, none of those can really pass the ball through the central axis of the midfield. Yet, if at all to win the midfield battle, you have to go ahead and really pass through the midfield because the easiest way to penetrate through your opponent fastly before he reorganizes is when you break that midfield. That's why you see many goals coming from the midfield area. Non set pieces, not counterattacks. You get? Because if at all that pass goes past the defenders and the defenders are running towards their goal obviously you are in pole position to go ahead and really go ahead and really get that ball done you get so each and every time your midfield is loose and they pass through it every time they really attack you then you are so much exposed to conceding very many goals so i really believe that he's an improvement to Manchester united and those i don't believe is an improvement they hold their opinion but ask me i've told you yesterday on any day rabio is picked by me over freddy and James Garner, so not James Garner. James Garner is really a good player. Over Freddy, over Freddy, and a player who goes by the names of, over Freddy, and a player who goes by the names of, over Freddy, and a player who goes, over Freddy, and a player who goes by the names of Scott McTominay. I pick, I pick Rabio on any day. On any day, I do pick him. In, his talent is really immense concern to those in the for you. Then, Arjan Rabio had a direct call with Eric Ten Hag on Monday. It's confirmed the first step before opening talks with his mother. Talks between United and Juve will continue through intermediaries also today. That's it. And the mother of Rabio, that is his agent, said the last one talked to intermediaries of Manchester United. He wants to talk to Motaf. He wants to as call him Motaf, as call him Mata, the technical director of United, the for you, because they have their demands. And they want them to be really satisfied in the for you. But we are waiting to see how this is going to happen in the for you. And I think when I hear that, I really believe that we are more we are going to be ransomed somewhere somewhere because Marta is not really experienced in making these decisions. That's why we really brought in Michael Keane to come in and really help us to really get these things done. No Tom Keane, a brother to Michael Keane. That's why we really brought him in to get these things done in the for you. So let's wait and see what comes out of these talks between the mother and Manchester United in there for you. But that phone call that Eric Ten Hag really held with Rabio excited him and is rushing to cut Manchester United as I'm really going to show you not further than a second or a minute from now. So Fabrizio Roman also confirmed to us that a call was made to Adam Rabio by Eric Ten Hag. Obviously, he needs him. Then Le Pic from France has told us that Eric Ten Hag told Adrian Rabio that he sees him as a starter in his team and that he will take Scott McTominay's spot in the side. Ten Hag thinks United need a different player than Scott McTominay to do that role. Then we are talking. Guys, for me, what I want is, I don't want us to go in for players that are really not yet to the level that we want. I know we are a big team, but right now we have to accept where we are that we dipped down in where we're supposed to be we are way off than where people think we are we are no longer that team that is big football wise but brand wise we are big we are having very many followers on social media we are having very many fans all over the world but we dropped down as far as the footballing terms are concerned so to me what i want us to start with let's get players who are really having a little bit of quality than the limited players we're having, like Scott McTominay. Obviously, to me, I don't believe why every manager is playing with Scott McTominay. Guys, that really beats my understanding. I ask myself, how does this beat logic for every manager to come in at Manchester United and really give a man like Scott McTominay a nod in his team, a starting nod in his team? That even beats logic to me. I fail to really come out and understand why that is happening like that. You get? Because that man was in the game of... was in the game of was in the game of Brighton chasing shadows in the midfield. You get? That's why I'm telling people, everyone that is really against this deal of Rabio, then you don't know what you're having at Manchester United. First and foremost, he's an improvement of what we got. To me, I really believe that improvement does not happen 100% because Rome was not built in one day. Improvement comes step by step. I really believe that if at all you bring in, you bring in Rabio and it displaces Scott McTominay out of the team, that's a tick to me. Then, that means you can play with Rabio 
and Ericsson in a double midfield pivot, meaning that even Freddy is shown the exit door because I really believe that this manager wants to be playing with Ericsson and Bruno Fernandes on the same pitch. You get? So, when you bring in another second midfielder, you get? That means even Bruno Fernandes, because he's not performing well, is going to be benched. Ericsson pulls up into the central attack midfield role. Then that midfielder plays with Rabio in a double midfield pivot. You get? That's what we want at United. So, if at all another improved player is coming in and is really putting this player out of this game either for you, that's it. Because Scott McTominay doesn't have the minerals to play into that position. If at all you are getting in a player who has the minerals, at least to more minerals than Scott McTominay, especially talent-wise, holding that ball, press resistant, he can go to the back four, tell them, get me that ball, and his passing is really up in there for you. His accuracy, I really believe he's a talent. Rabiu is more talented than a player who goes by the name of Scott McTominay, according to me. And I really believe that he's going to be a very good addition to this team of Manchester United. And that call, and if at all, Ten Hag really told him that you're going to come and replace Scott McTominay, obviously, he's having a nod. To me, he really starts into the United lineup. He really starts in the United lineup in here for you. So, him being here, at least, at least, you'll be having a glimmer of hope in the midfield that at least... Let teams like Chelsea go on and boss us, but teams like Brighton, teams below that, teams below the top six, let them not come in here and boss us. You get? Obviously, we know that if at all we are somehow stable in the midfield, we can get the attackers more the ball. And if at all you get more the ball, Sancho, Rashford, Ericsson, Bruno, and Martial Ronaldo, then we can get in goals. We can get in goals. You get? So let's wait and see what this really happens at Manchester United. Then we've been told by Bayin sport that Adrian Rabio is rushing to Manchester United, is rushing to join Manchester United. Reason being, he has been talked to by Eric Ten Hag and has promised him, by the way, you have a nod to my team. Secondly, you are coming to a big team, obviously. Secondly, I'm giving you first team football and the club is going to get you the money that you want. Obviously, I will believe that he earns close to £160,000 a week, of which it's worth him one year left on his contract, bring him at Manchester United. Sign him up. Sign him up. And I'm asking myself why people are really, are really not backing this deal. Yet this player was once wanted by Barcelona recently, even from Juventus. Barcelona wanted to sign him. You know why? He's talented. This guy has the talent. And trust me, if he's being talked to by Eric Ten Hag and, is into, and wants him to come, let him come and get all this large Scott McTominay out of the starting positions of the midfield of United <laughs> for you because he lacks the minerals to play into that midfield area in there for you. So I think he comes in at United to provide solutions into the midfield. Obviously, he's going to provide them and him rushing to come to Manchester United. We believe that it has to be really important because I can't see our midfield the same play Liverpool. We need changes. We need drastic changes. And him going out for a player like Adrian Rabiot confirms to us that he wants he wants Martinez to play in central defense. Because he believes that he gives him another another advantage of building from the back or from behind. That's it. That is a player who goes by the names of that is a player who goes by the names of Rabio in there for you. Then Sky Sports News is saying that. Manchester United's move for Juventus' Adrian Rabiot is progressing well with deal thought to be worth £15 million and add-ons. Talks continue with Rabiot's mother. Obviously, the deal of him to United, £15 million, some good money, get him at £15 million, 27 years of age, tie him on a four, in a four-year deal and put him at Manchester United. Obviously, he wants to come in at Manchester United to play to see to it that he really competes for the places of the World Cup because there are very many other central midfielders that have really mushroomed ever since really came in in the French, mid, in the French midfield. Obviously, there is Chomini, there is Kamara. You get there is this other guy. He's known as Anan. He's, does he play for Lille? He's that other central midfielder that plays for side which goes by the names of <laughs> France, also in the midfield. So Rabio really believes that coming at Manchester United will give him another another chance to really compete, to be part of the squad of Deschamps. And I really believe that the reason as why he's an age, he has an age over these other midfielders like Chomini, Kamara, and Anan is that he plays in several positions of the midfield. You get. By the way, in the Euros, I saw I saw Deschamps 
play him as a left back in that game of Hungary where they lost to Hungary by one goal to nil. You remember that game very well. Osman Dembele came in through and got an injury and then they really put Rabiot to play as the left back. So he's a versatile player in the free. So we are getting a, a player who's really versatile and really believe that he can add so much to United. He adds more he adds so much to us than Freddie and Scott McTominay. That's why I'm really excited about this deal and I'm really excited to see to it that it's going to happen in here onto the United Matters channel. Then we've been told that Sky have been told Ten Hag is very keen on the player and that there is full alignment between the manager and the recruitment department over the signing of Rabio. That's it. That's it. Let's keep pushing it and let's see where it's really going to come into. Because for me, any player who comes in that midfield to dislodge Freddie and Scott McTominay, I'm okay with it. Provided they're dislodging them on talent and merit. That's it. Then we are having Rabio is not willing to give up his salary even though he's willing to give up Champions League football. He's currently earning 8 million euros per season. Meaning that I think um, he's going to be in the salary of like 160,000 pounds a week. I think he's worth it. He's worth it because he's coming on the cheap. Because if he had like 3 years on his contract all too, United would have got him at, uh, at that amount of money. So him coming in to get that money Obviously, United will give him that money. You know that very well. Secondly, he's going to get Champions League football. He's not. He's he's ready. He's willing to give up Champions League football. That's that's okay. And I've read a story that he, his mother is waiting to see what's happening between Monaco and PSV in the for you today because the game is going to be played today. Remember, PSV drew away in Monaco and they are in Netherlands today. So when you read when you read this. That is not willing to give up his salary so that means they cannot go to monaco because monaco cannot pay him that money they don't they cannot get him eight million euros per season they can't they can't they can't i think paul michu who is that side cannot really allow that to happen according to me in there for you so that is all about a player who goes by the names of rabio linked to manchester united and obviously he's rushing to come to manchester united reason being ten hag talked to him and everything is moving on smoothly in there for you then the last story, Nottingham Forest are back on the trail of Manchester United is James Garner. This story has been reported by Simon Jones of the Mail Sport. Obviously, James Garner really showed up into the midfield of Nottingham Forest for two seasons until they really qualified and really pushed up and won that playoff at the beat middles were on goal to nil. James Garner was really so much pivotal. And I really believe that the manager is counting on him. And United are really willing to sell him. But to me, I really believe that. Sorry, not selling him, loaning him again there. If you're loaning him them there, we need to get another midfielder. Even though bring in Rabio, Eddie Jong needs to come. You get at least, at least to replace Nemanja Matic and Paul Ebide Pogba. Two left. We brought in Ericsson. We brought in uh, Danny Van Beek returns from there. But I think, I really believe that we need another midfielder again. Either Frankie De Jong or another play, player who plays the CDM at Manchester United. But James Garner, I really believe that if I told him the manager in the game of Brentford, I start him. Good enough is that the manager saw him more in the game we played against the side which goes by the names of this hit marks either for you. United played a closed door game at Carrington yesterday and they beat that team by five goals to one. Ronaldo started, the run started and James Garner played very well. Ahmad Diallo, one of the players I really believe that. Why did he make the bench? I really believe that on that game of on that game of um, that game of of Brighton, when Rashford is off form, you shift Sancho to the right, left and bring in Ahmad Diallo on the right, because it looked hard for Sancho to break down that player. So we needed a player with the left foot playing off the right wing to cut outside and then really lay that cross in there for you because they are making it hard for us to play. But I really believe that those two players, James Garner. And uh, Ahmad Diallo. I will believe that they can be part of this squad and they can be so much pivotal. But you know what the manager is thinking? Even a player who goes by the name of Zidane Iqbo. I was so much, so much happy when he was registered and put onto that squad of United that is going to be part, that's going to take part or contribute to what we are going to be or not want to be in this season. Thank you guys for watching in. I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share your reactions to rugby or rushing to United after Ten Hag call are welcome to the comment section below. I go by the names of 
Rock and David, United Matters Channel is where I am. And Rabio is rushing to United after that Ten Hag call in there for you. Has been the story. But even to James Garner being loaned back to Nottingham. Nottingham are really pushing to get him back. Is welcome into the comment section below. I sign out for now. May the Almighty God protect you abundantly.